Howdy guys, Cub here. Welcome back to Hermit Skies. Last time we did a bunch of stuff. We made some new tools, which you see in my inventory here, these carbon tools. We also made the Tinker's Construct Smeltery. We got a obsidian generator here, generating obsidian for us. Right there. And a couple of things I want to do today, guys. I want to sort out the storage situation we have going on here. So we have a lot of stuff in a lot of different places. A lot of different ores, a lot of different materials, and I'd like to be able to sort it all much, much easier. And so I'm thinking, right now at least, that perhaps over here will be where we put our storage. I think that might be a good spot, but I want to have a central location I can go to and just, you know, put everything in that central location and have everything, you know, sorted out that way. I also like to get a mob farm today, right over here. I think we're going to make the mob farm. I think I might actually tear this down though and actually build lower, um, like way down lower so that we can get better spawning rates for a mob farm. So we'll have to see about that. And the first thing I want to do is actually improve this obsidian generator. So we have the Elorium block here we made last time. That's generating obsidian for us at a decent clip, but I'd like it to be faster. And I think one way we can make it faster is by crafting this thing, the superheating element from Mechanism. Um, you can see it's dangerous as a dangerous radiator, <laughs> capable of emitting massive amounts of heat to its surroundings. So I think we're going to make this thing right here, because it will actually cause the crucible to generate, instead of at 20 times faster, it'll generate uh, lava at 120 times faster. So that will be a huge improvement over the current crucible, over the Yellowian block underneath there. And so to get this block, we're going to need a couple things. We're going to need a steel ch steel casing some copper and some redstone. We have the copper and the redstone, but we need the steel casing. And that's crafted with some steel ingots, some glass, and an osmium ingot. We have the glass and the osmium, but we need the steel. So let's take a look at how we craft steel here. So we take a look at what it takes to make steel here. You can see we can use steel essence from Mystical Agriculture. I've noticed that Mystical Agriculture has a lot of tie-ins with a lot of other mods, so we may have to get into that somewhat soon as well. But let's see if we can find another route to steel. Let's see, that's molten, molten steel. Here we go. So iron and pulverized charcoal in an alloy smelter from Ender IO. So if we take a look at the quest book for Ender IO, we need the sag mill and the alloy smelter. So sag mill is just right here after the machine chassis. And let's see, the other one, sag machine and the alloy smelter, which I think is, where is it? Right here, alloying machine right here after the machine chassis as well. So yeah, both of these will, are sort of like the basic machines for Ender I.O. So I think we should be able to get to those today. And so let's go ahead and we'll see how to craft those. So let's look at the alloy smelter first. So alloy smelter right here requires furnaces, iron, cauldron, and a machine chassis, which is just a basic capacitor with iron components. So that shouldn't be too bad. And let's look up the sag mill. Sag mill right here just needs a piston, some flint, some iron, and another machine chassis like that. So that should be pretty straightforward to do. Let me grab some iron and we'll get started on that. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started with some of these machines here. I'm just going to dump off a few more things in here that we don't need right now. And the first thing we're going to start off with is going to be this Sterling generator here. This is sort of the basic machine in Ender IO. So we'll just go ahead and grab one of those. That should also complete a quest for the Sterling generator. And this thing generates power through the burning of coal and other blocks uh, for Ender IO. And let's see, let's take a look at the quest book here. Let's just go in here. So that's Sterling Generator. Now we need to do the machine chassis. So let's just do that. We'll go to, let's see, we'll go to the alloy smelter right here. So machine chassis. Let's go ahead and make that. And we're going to also need another one, I think, for... Let's see, that's not the recipe. That's not the recipe again. Some of these have multiple recipes. Uh, there we go, that's the recipe. So we'll need two of these. One for the alloy smelter, so let's do that. Right there. Perfect. And then we need one for the other thing, which is the sag mill. The other machine we need. There we go. Perfect, all right. So we should have now, I believe, all the yeah, all the quests complete here for Ender Isle. Let's just go in here and take a look. So there's Sag Machine complete, Alloy Machine complete, 
and we might also want to get some of these other ones here but yeah that's now opened up the entire basically the entire branch here for ender io which is awesome <laughs> so where are we going to put these machines i think maybe we put them out this way i don't, I don't know uh, i'm not a big fan of the fact that we're in a sky block right here to be totally honest i don't really like having to build all these other like islands out here it seems like an arbitrary limitation to me but it is what it is I guess let's go out this way. I guess let's go out this way, or we could just put them down here temporarily, since this is not going to be a, a permanent thing. We'll make something better later. Uh, yeah, let's just put them right here, I guess. So we'll put this down here. It's the Sterling Generator. The Sag Mill will go right here. Alloy Smelter right here. And let's just put some stuff. Uh, let's see. It's alloy Smelter Generator. We need some stuff here. So this should give some power to this the other machines here I believe uh, so let's see if we see this yeah okay they're getting some power this guy's getting some power as well fantastic okay so that is working indeed okay guys so this should be the final steel ingot we need here we got our pulverized charcoal and iron making a steel ingot right there very good and this is actually out of power it looks like right now so I we'll have to get some more power generation going for that but for now it should be okay Let's go over here now. We need to get some osmium ingots, which I think I have right in here. Yep, very nice. And so we need, let's see, we need glass now. We have the steel, we need glass, and that's it. So let's see if we have some glass around here. I'm guessing we probably do. Yep, there it is right there. So now we can go ahead and make the machine chassis right here. Move the items on in. There we go, steel chassis. And then we need a couple of copper ingots, which may or may not be in these chests. This is why we need better storage, because I've <laughs> got no idea how much stuff we have. Block of copper, here we go. Make some of this into the ingots. Very nice. And then let's come back over here, and we need the redstone, which we have on us. So now we should be able to just go ahead and move all the items over. And there we go. Superheating element has been created. And now, once we put this in here... This is really going to light up this this crucible. Check this out. Boom. Time is 120. So we should see this start to move quite a bit fast. Yeah, look at that. That's going quite quick now. Yeah, you can see the obsidian coming in now. That, that is awesome. Is it actually outpacing? It doesn't look like it's quite outpacing the rate of cobblestone production. Uh, let me just take the rest out of this. Let's see. If I take all this stuff out of here, looks like it's still, the cobblestone generator is still generating quicker than this can smelt down. But this is pretty quick now. This is really giving us a lot of lava now. And it's going to be a lot of obsidian generation for us when we need it. So that's great. You can see it coming in. So that's fantastic. All right. So that is now figured out. Let's now go ahead and focus on our storage area. But first, let's claim all these these uh, chests here. Let's claim all these uh, prizes, or loot chests, whatever they're called. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just do them all here. Uh, did that. Ah, okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's actually put this back in here real quick. There we go. Let's get out our loot chest, see what we get. Hopefully some good stuff. Big money, big money, big money. Ah, worthless. Diamond shield, worthless. We already have one, too. We got two of them now. Dang it. Come on now. All right, let's try the next one. Next one, machine chassis. Let's claim one of these. Done. What? Another diamond shield. Come on now. I thought the RNG would be better than this. Jeez. All right, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's go for the bottom one this time. Maybe that'll yield something different. Gas charm. We already got one of those. <laughs> Man, I don't know if it's just me, or maybe maybe the whole, like, loot chest thing at this point is worthless already. It's kind of sad if so. Uh, we can also get another quest, I think, just by making a full heart here. Perhaps. Even though we can't actually use it. Um, hardcore lives are not enabled. Okay. But we don't get the quest just for making it e either? Okay. Hmm. Well, okay, that was pretty much worthless then. Uh, we have one more, I think, to claim, right? Yeah, we have the alloy smelter to claim. Let's do the top one here. 
Please be something we don't have yet. Come on. Oh, we already got that too. We already got that too. Okay. Well, some worthless stuff in the loot chests, but that's okay. I think now we need to start to focus on getting our storage in order here. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, guys, I made a new area right over here where we're going to store all of our stuff. I think I'm going to put everything along this back wall here. And I made a bunch of cardboard boxes, so this should easily allow us to move all of our stuff. So if we just do this, we can sort of like box all of our stuff up. And I believe this keeps all the contents of the chest intact. So this will will do well with this, I believe, to make sure that, yeah, we got everything we need. And that's also going to be right there. There we go. Perfect. Uh, yeah, we'll do the same with this right here, I believe. So we'll just box this up. Box this up, box this up, so we're just boxing everything up. And I'm going to make a bunch of compact drawers, like these, as well as a bunch of drawers, basic drawers like these, uh, to store items. And so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this done, and I'll be back. Our storage area is now coming together, guys. We have some compacting drawers here, compacting up all of our ores. We also have some of the basic drawers filled out. And I'm sure more of these will fill out as we get more and more stuff. The only thing we're missing right now is the drawer controller right here. And that is crafted up using, I believe, some comparators, which we need quartz for. So we have to actually go to the, nor the nether to get some quartz ore, because I actually have none on me at the moment. You can also see we are expanding the base. And yeah, this is going to be a huge expansion of the base, because we need a lot more room. We'll need a lot more room very soon. I also want to put down... I like a proper area for these farms instead of just having these, you know, just sort of put down here. Like they're just not in the right spot. They don't look very good. So we're also expanding the base here quite dramatically. And this is going to continue on uh, expanding uh, in the near future. So let's go ahead and go to the nether. We have to go get some nether quartz ore. We have to go get... I want to get soul sand as well. Uh, I want to get a bunch of diamonds and things like that. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time here in the nether mining and I'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now returned from the nether, and we got quite a lot of nether quartz, as you can see here. So a lot of nether quartz here. We also got some infernium, some diamond, some iron, some redstone ore, some raw carbon, prosperity shards, etc. Also energized clathrate, whatever that is. <laughs> and not only this stuff, but we also got some more stuff. Let me just show you my alchemical bags here. So we got some soul sand, because I thought that might be useful, some carbon... More stuff here, glowstone, emeralds, diamonds, yeah, ardite, uh, cobalt, stuff like that. But wait, there's more. I got another alchemical bag full of netherrack, of silver, of copper, of infernium. You name it, we got it from the nether pretty much. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. This is a good amount of stuff now. And now that we have nether quartz, I think we can go ahead and make that controller the drawer controller right here so let's go ahead and do that right now all right ladies and gentlemen so well, let's go ahead and get ourselves this drawer controller we've been wanting to get this all episode so let's just go ahead and make it right now so just pull everything in just like this and there we go drawer controller got that and let's also make the other one which i think is the drawer slave i want to say drawer controller compacting drawer uh should be a slave slave right here so we need two more comparators uh recipe is not two by two i know that uh let's just go ahead and grab ourselves some more stone and we should hopefully have enough resources to make this let's just do this and that one and then we should be able to get some comparators two more comparators and then pull in another piece of gold which we should have somewhere around here, probably over here. And that should give us the drawer slave. So let's just grab this out of here. And then we'll go into this thing right here, get ourselves some gold. 
Now move it over, and there we go. There's our controller slave, and that should be the quest complete. Hooray! <laughs> Sweet. All right, so I don't really think I need the drawer slave, or the controller slave. Not right now, at least. I'm going to go ahead and place this down right here, and this should now be up and working. Let's go ahead and get our loot from the quest right here. Uh, also, we got some, some quests from the nether that we need to uh, claim. Whoops. Keep on clicking on some stuff here. Uh, let's see, where is this quest at? This is the controller one. So this one right here. So let's go with the bottom one here. Claim that. And let's see what we get. Anything good? Yeah, another diamond furnace. Okay, we can use that. Definitely use that for sure. Uh, let's just break this. And let's put this one down. We'll put some spruce wood back in there. There we go. And let's just go ahead and pop this right in there. Let's also get the other chest right here for the ardite ardite and cobalt claim this is what i i've mined these out in the nether so let's go ahead and go with the first reward there zombie charm dang it we keep on getting these jo these charms that we don't need that's all right though that's all right let's go ahead and just dump this off over here and i think there might have been one more quest that we completed let's just double check in here yeah this one right here infernum Infernia, Infurium, Infurium Essence. So we'll claim this one. We'll go with the top one here. Lithium Dust. One single Lithium Dust. That seems like it might be worth a lot, but I'm not exactly sure. So let's just go ahead and place it in there. We also got a bunch of loot bags. Let's open these up. Ooh, Angelic Feather. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Uh, let's look up what this what this does. Uh, da, 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 da. Uses. So, three Angel Heart Vials and an Angelic Feather give you a Phoenix Down Feather from Reliquary. Absorbs fall damage in exchange for hunger and gives player a minor jump boost. Oh, yeah! I can... Can I jump higher? Can I jump over this fence? Oh, yeah, I can! How about that? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, normally I wouldn't be able to clear that. But with the Angelic Feather, I can. Okay, so that might be worthwhile. Can I put this in this, like, another slot over here like this? Oh, I, no, that's offhand. Please? Ah, oh, I can't. That's alright. That might be useful for some specific situations. Uh, let's check these other loot bags here. Alright, not that much in there, to be honest. Uh, let's check this one. Rare loot bag. Mega, rub Mega rubber sapling tree. Apple music disc. Okay. Epic loot bag. Obsidian. <laughs> Obsidian and epic loot bag. We got tons and tons of obsidian now. Uh, let's see, we got artifact, old blue bag. Okay, music disc. All right. Let's see what else is inside here. These old blue bags. Man, this is really weird. Bones. Okay. Can I just like, yeah, take these out? Okay, that that'll work. Uh, let's just throw those on the ground. And there's one more, I think. Another mysterious loot bag. Let's see. Spider eyes. Okay. Nothing really much in there. Alright, so, yeah. We got a whole bunch of stuff now. Let's just throw those on the ground again. Pick these back up. So we got a whole bunch of stuff now, and we should be able to, I believe... Let's just go ahead and check and make sure this works. So, like, right here we have one diamond in here. If I right-click here... Yeah, that sent all the diamonds into that drawer right there. So that's fantastic, yeah. So we can now just come up here and just do something like this. And that should have sent some stuff, yeah, from, from here into these slots over here. So that is awesome. I like that a lot. And now what I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and organize all this stuff. Because, yeah, it needs to be organized. We have everything sort of separated in all these chests. So I'm just going to take out, for instance, all these ores here. You just got to come up, boom, boom. And everything goes into the appropriate... Uh, areas. So, like, the lead went into the lead chest here, I believe. I think this is lead. Yeah. Lead went into the lead chest, etc. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do this right now. Just get everything organized, and then we'll go from there. We now have all the stuff we have sorted, either in these drawers right here, or we also have nine chests here, which I've sorted into various categories. So, up here we have the mob drops. Over here we have the ingots that are smelted and or uh, useful mod items. Here we have the modded blocks and unsmelted ores. 
Here we have modded items and just various other modded things. Here we have all the vanilla stuff right there. This is more modded blocks. And this is like the overpowered modded stuff we have yet that we can't yet quite use. Then we have food right here. And then seeds and plants and saplings down here. So that is the category of each chest. Alright guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually upgrade our sword a little bit. So we have a carbon broadsword right now, but that's actually not the best sword you can get. You can actually make a sword with a lot more attack damage by using this material right here, Signalum. So that is what we're going to try and make. If we look at the Signalum ingots and we go over to smelting, you can see there's a Signalum blend. And that actually is copper, silver, and destabilized redstone. Which we can actually do, and we can actually combine them in, I think, the smeltery. Um, at least that's what I've been told. So, let's go ahead and get that going. So we got some copper. Uh, we don't need this tin. Let's just put that back. And let's just get out some silver here. There we go. And let's just come on over here. So all we need is... See, we got the destabilized redstone in there. Let's get a little bit more destabilized redstone. Let's get some silver in there. And let's get a few copper chunks and that should all combine to make signalum in here and then once we look in here at the broadsword we're going to need a sword blade so that is the cast we're going to need which should be down here i believe sword blade right here so we'll just swap this for that one put that cast back i have some ingot casts down here uh, just in case we have extra stuff and there we go. Yeah, Molten Signalum. Um, yeah, sweet. So we have copper, silver. Looks like we need a little bit more destabilized redstone, perhaps. Not exactly sure. Let's see how much... Uh, we'll see We'll see if this is enough to make the, the sword blade, but... We want to make sure this Signalum is at the bottom, right there. And once this redstone kicks in here, we should see the silver and the copper, I believe, recombine again and make even more Signalum. So... That should be awesome. Uh, let's just wait until that happens. This should be just about done. Yeah, there it goes. And let's see. There we go. Yep, two ingots. Okay, so let's see if that's enough. That may or may not be enough here. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Signalum sword blade. And then it's going to cool off. It should appear right down here. There it goes. All right, let's see if we combine this with our sword. Uh, let's do, here, let's do this. Let's grab this. Can I actually, oh, do I, do I need just to do this then? Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Snap, son. So it went from 26.66 attack damage to 38.19 attack damage. Yep, I think that's... That's worth it. A little bit less durability, but that shouldn't really matter once we level it up a little bit. Uh, because we can get these reinforcement modifiers, and it's already, like, reinforcement, reinforced three. So not too shabby. And plus, our obsidian over here, this is going to make it so that... Wow, that's a lot of obsidian. We're almost all the way full on obsidian now. <laughs> nice. So that obsidian there will make that not a problem at all to get. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to have to call that an episode for today as I am out of time for this episode. Next episode, we will get started on the mob farm. So that will be coming next episode. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.